Matt Reeves kicked off his own version of the DC Universe with The Batman in 2022, a film known for its neo-noir crime elements. He's expanding this universe with an HBO Max series that explores the rise of the Penguin. What's important to note is that Reeves' DC projects are distinct from the official DC Extended Universe. Don't have a relationship with him, okay? That's not what it looked like. Wait, what are you doing? Listen, I can't, I can't do no. this no more. No! <laughs> Giving him creative freedom. In Gotham, he embraces a darker and more violent tone, eschewing humor for a story that draws inspiration from classic DC comic storylines, resulting in a grittier and more serious take on the Batman mythos. Colin Farrell's portrayal of the Penguin in The Batman aligns closely with what comic book enthusiasts might anticipate for this iconic character. He embodies the anger and bitterness associated with Penguin, but at the same time, he retains that trademark sense of humor that sets him apart from the overly serious villains in the Batman universe. In this film, the Penguin operates somewhat in the background, but it's evident that he will play a more prominent role as he solidifies his control over Gotham City in the upcoming spin-off series. Assuming the character survives the events of the movie, it's highly likely that he will be a significant and enduring presence in Matt Reeves' larger vision for the Batman franchise. As of February 2023, production for the Penguin TV series has reportedly commenced. According to Colin Farrell in an interview with Variety, they are anticipating a filming period of around five or six months. If this timeline holds, it suggests that the show will likely enter the production phase during the late summer months. Given the substantial budget of the series, post-production work is expected to take several months before the finished footage is ready for release. By the way, guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video. And for more DCEU updates, subscribe to our channel. Furthermore, recent set photos from The Penguin have surfaced, revealing the presence of several DC characters who will be making their debut in the series. One notable character is Sophia Falcone, who plays a significant role in various Batman comic storylines. This inclusion hints at the show's commitment to bringing key elements from the comics to life and adding depth to the narrative. So is the Penguin TV show confirmed or not? Let's see. Shortly after the positive reception and financial success of The Batman, plans for Matt Reeves' Penguin TV show were officially confirmed. Colin Farrell's participation was the first casting announcement made for the series. This show is designed to directly tie into the narrative of The Batman, expanding upon Reeves' unique portrayal of Gotham City from the perspective of The Penguin. In March 2022, it was also confirmed that a series centered around Arkham Asylum would move forward, replacing a previously rumored project focusing on the Gotham City Police Department. While there has been progress made in the development of this Arkham Asylum spin-off, specific details about the series are being closely guarded and have not been disclosed to the public. In the production team behind the Penguin TV show, both Matt Reeves and Dylan Clark will take on executive producer roles. This suggests that the distinctive style and tone established in The Batman will likely carry over into the television series. Lauren LaFranc, known for her previous work on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is the creator, showrunner, and writer of the series. She will play a central role in shaping the show's direction and narrative. While the complete lineup of directors for the series has not yet been announced, it has been confirmed that Craig Zobel, known for his work on Mare of Easttown, will direct the first two episodes of The Penguin. This announcement, made through THR, provides a glimpse into the talent involved in bringing the show to life. With that, let's see what the story of The Penguin will be. The storyline for the Penguin TV series is shrouded in secrecy at the moment. However, it's important to note that Matt Reeves has consistently emphasized the significance of DC Comics as a source of inspiration when adapting these stories for the screen. Therefore, it's reasonable to assume that the series will draw from existing comic book narratives to some degree. One key advantage for Reeves is that his version of Batman, portrayed by Robert Pattinson, exists in a separate continuity from the DC Extended Universe. This separation grants Reeves a greater degree of creative freedom because he doesn't have to worry about connecting his universe to other DC properties. As a result, he can closely align the storytelling with the source material, a factor that he has always held in high regard when crafting his adaptations. In The Batman, we saw Gotham City suffer a catastrophic flood as a result of the Riddler's destructive plan. This dire situation presents Oswald Cobblepot also known as the Penguin, with a golden opportunity to seize control amid the chaos. 
While his specific methods and intentions remain unclear, if Colin Farrell's portrayal of the Penguin aligns with the character from the comics, he will be unrelenting in his pursuit of power. Traditionally, the Penguin is a character who operates from the shadows, manipulating others for his own gain. This cunning and strategic approach is precisely what he will be employing in the upcoming spin-off show, as he aims to fill the power vacuum left behind after Falcone's demise. HBO's Sarah Aubrey has shed some light on the show's narrative, explaining that it will primarily focus on Oz Cobblepot's life on the streets of Gotham as he strives to climb the social ladder through hustling and strategy, showcasing his ambitious nature. The series, spread across eight episodes, offers ample time to delve into the character's development, featuring a compelling character arc filled with intriguing twists and turns and the introduction of new characters. Guys, look at this Will Robert Pattinson be in the Penguin TV show. There are rumors circulating that Robert Pattinson's Batman may make an appearance in the Penguin TV series. However, it's important to note that no official details have been confirmed regarding his involvement. Given that these stories exist within the same interconnected narrative universe, it would logically make sense for Pattinson's Batman to appear, even if it's just for a brief cameo, in order to establish a connection between the Penguin and the storyline of the Batman. Since there hasn't been any official confirmation, it's reasonable to assume that if Pattinson does appear in the series, it will likely be kept a surprise for viewers, adding an element of excitement and intrigue to the show. Okay, so let's see who will be part of the Penguin. Colin Farrell is set to reprise his role as Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot, also known as the Penguin. However, he'll be joined by a fresh ensemble of characters, both allies and adversaries, to help shape this original storyline. One notable addition to the cast is Kristen Milioti, known for her role in How I Met Your Mother, who will play Sophia Falcone. Sophia is the daughter of Gotham's former crime lord, Carmine Falcone. While the Batman made some changes to Carmine Falcone's character, he was still portrayed as the avaricious criminal he has always been in the comics. If Sophia Falcone's character follows a similar path, she could present a significant challenge to Penguin's ambitions of seizing control over Gotham. Her presence in the series has the potential to complicate Penguin's plans and create an intriguing dynamic within the narrative. Several notable actors, including Michael Kelly, Shorey Agadashlu, and Deidre O'Connell, are set to have significant roles in the Penguin TV series. However, the specific characters they will be portraying have not been disclosed, as reported by Variety. Matt Reeves, the creator of the series, has not yet revealed which comic books or storylines have inspired the show. Therefore, it's challenging to predict which classic DC characters might make appearances in The Penguin. However, given the history of DC adaptations, there is likely to be a mix of surprises and Easter eggs for dedicated fans of the comics. Additionally, Renzi Feliz, known for his role in Runaways, has also been cast in the series, adding to the anticipation surrounding the show's ensemble cast and the potential for unexpected character appearances. And lastly, let's know, is the Penguin part of the DCU? James Gunn's recent announcements regarding the DC Universe have clarified that Matt Reeves' The Batman and its related spin-offs, including The Penguin, will exist in a distinct category known as Elseworlds. This designation signifies that these films and series are separate from the main DCU continuity. As a result, viewers should not anticipate the appearance of existing DCU characters in these movies and shows. This effectively rules out any potential crossovers with characters from films like Joker or Justice League, as well as any other DC properties linked to Gotham City. Essentially, the Batman and its spin-offs represent self-contained projects with their own storylines, and their events and characters won't impact or connect to the broader DCU in any way. Well, that's it for today. Now, what Batman comic stories or characters would you love to see in the Penguin TV series? Share your thoughts in the comments.